In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get out of the worst division in Arena. More specifically, Division 7. This is hands down probably one of the most competitive divisions in Fortnite. And this is because so many players are really close to that 6,000 point threshold to get to Champions League. Which can make it really frustrating for you if you're not prepared. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all the tips you guys need to get out of Division 7. Now I know for my last arena video, it was more focused on how to stop losing arena points, but I felt like for Division 7, I felt like I needed to make it its own video, because it's such a different and more diverse division than really any other division in arena. So my first tip I have for you guys to get out of Division 7 is to stop trying to copy your favorite players. Now I know how fun and easy it looks when you're watching your favorite pro players stream to just go land Stark and W key everyone you see, and I have been hit with the harsh reality many times that I can't just go W key everyone I see at Stark. Once I got into these higher divisions like division 7 and champion league and this is because the reason we watch pro players is simply because they are better than us and a lot of us like to watch them to learn from them and while that is a great thing and you should always do that think of the analogy like a teacher teaching a classroom if you're learning a subject you can't just go up and teach the class right after you learn it it honestly takes a lot of practice and think of practice like going to college to become a teacher meaning you have to put a lot of time and dedication in to get this good and there are a lot of different ways to practice to get better at arena like learning how to take your fights and which fights to take but all these practice situations take a lot of time and dedication and don't worry if you don't have the time of day to practice a crazy amount you really don't have to be a pro player to get into champions league but if you're really looking to take your gameplay to the next level there is a lot of hard work and dedication that come into it my second tip for you guys is to master the early game. The early game is the hardest part of every single arena match. And this is because there is so much RNG that comes into play right after you jump off the bus. And since there's no more 100% chest spawns, there's even more RNG. Sometimes when you land at a certain spot, there's not going to be a chest there. So you really need to learn where the floor loot is and you need to learn the most optimal landing spot of your drop. Now, for example, if I'm landing at Holly Hedges, I want to land at this house right here in the middle because it's honestly the most optimal out of all my other options to land out here there's three potential chest spawns and i have an overview of pretty much the whole back half of the map and also i found out there's some really good floor loot inside of this house not to mention there's also a vegetable box where you can get shields if you don't find any on the floor there's also wooden pallets right outside so you can have way more mats than all of your opponents that land near you and just about every single drop spot in fortnite has an optimal location to land at Okay, so my third tip for you guys is to do realistic 1v1s to practice for mid game. Mid game fights can be very frustrating if you don't know how to do them, but luckily there are a bunch of realistic 1v1 fight maps to help you, and they simulate an arena mid game fight very, very well. Because not only does it put you in actual locations on the Fortnite map, but you also have a random loadout each time that you start a match. And it's also great because right after you die, you hop right into another round to go back at it again. And if you're a loser like me and have no friends, <laughs> You can go into a Discord server to find someone to realistic 1v1 with. East Open is a really good one, and I also have my own server as well. And a lot of my subscribers are always looking for people to play with. Realistic 1v1s are a great way to practice because it teaches you how to use and conserve your mats. And it also teaches you how to practice certain mechanics that you've been learning, such as peace control and box fights. It also teaches you how to gain confidence because when you're in game and someone's rushing you, it can be very intimidating if you don't know what to do. I used to hate playing realistic 1v1s when people first started playing them because it was uncomfortable for me but ever since i started playing them i feel like i've gained a lot more game sense and understanding of the game in the long run it's worth it to play about 30 minutes of realistic 1v1s every day Another tip I have for you guys if you're struggling with late game is to play in zone wars and scrims. Now I've talked about this a lot before and this is because zone wars are probably one of the most valuable things you can play because in arena most of your points are going to be coming from the late game and this is because everyone is running, everyone's rotating and using their mats to get to the next moving zone and if you don't know how to use your mats in late game and also get kills then it's going to be really hard but honestly late game should be the easiest way to get kills for you because all the other people who are not prepared will be exposed because they will not know how to use their mats, not know how to rotate, or be able to get kills while the zone is right behind them. And there's always three layers that naturally form over the course of late game. These three layers are low ground, mid ground, and high ground. And depending on the game, these layers can be completely different. Pretty much in every single game, there's at least one layer that is congested, meaning there's a lot of players in one of those layers. Usually one of the congested layers is mid ground
ground and low ground and there can be multiple layers inside of those two categories i just talked about but high ground is usually always sought after and the most contested for and this is because when you get high ground you have the easiest opportunities to get kills on other players zone wars will teach you how to navigate through these different layers and also give you a feel for the environment of a late game in arena or in a tournament and they're also really fun to play especially when you're playing with your friends to compete to see who can get the most points 200 <laughs> <laughs> and honestly the best way to find a zone wars maps is to just go into the creative fill there's always multiple types of zone wars maps in the creative hub and it also makes it a little bit more challenging because you don't know the opponents you're going up against my final tip for you guys which i have actually been using a lot is when you're bored and you literally have nothing to do just go play a tournament don't play to place don't play to try and earn money literally just play to get better and to practice and the reason i say to do this is because when you're playing in tournaments you're going to be playing the same exact people who are playing arena and people are going to be trying a lot harder in tournaments which is actually beneficial to you because you're going to be put in high stress situations and you're going to be able to be a lot more comfortable when you're playing arena and you're in a little bit lower stress of situations you also literally have nothing to lose you have no consequence of losing any points and if you start popping off you might even just place Thank you guys for stopping by and watching today's video all the way until the end. And also be sure you guys smash that sub button down below, join the sub zeros, as I am going to be dropping a lot of content here very soon with how to get better and a bunch more stuff as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.